special thank you to my Patreon darlings. Joining the Patreon will give you access to exclusive audios, behind the scenes, personal journals, and seasonal digital rewards you won't find anywhere else. <coughs> Good morning, Keeper. Nothing too special on the agenda today. It seems you've been taking good care of my sons, and it is appreciated as my four little horsemen transition into your world. Tristan has his goth band practice in the garage at four, so do remember to prepare for eight hungry college boys for supper instead of four. Liam got an A- minus on his last test, so he'll want lots of hugs and head pats. Zack probably has girls in his bed that he left to come cuddle with you, so prepare for a fight at breakfast. Oh, and... <sighs> Tell Aaron to stop setting things on fire, okay? Hmm, good luck. Morning, Shorty. What's that, pancakes? Hell yeah, I f***ing love pancakes. What? No, I didn't wake my brothers up. Huh, <laughs> because I wanted to have you to myself for a little bit, you dweeb. Hey, I know I have to share, but that doesn't mean I gotta be chill about it. So, um, how's about we make out a little while while you try and cook, huh? <laughs> Mm. Uh, mm. Uh. Ugh, dude. Can you stop trying to mark your territory for like five minutes? The keeper here is trying to do their job, which is feeding us. I'd kind of like that to happen. Just try not to let that eyeliner run down your dumb face when you start crying that I get the first kisses of the day. First of all, your sloppy makeout kisses aren't the best. And you know it. I like to do gentle lingering kisses. You know, proper ones. Like this. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, Zach's gonna be out here in about two minutes, hoping to make Keeps hopelessly jealous by flaunting whatever he dragged home this time. Yeah, I know he's immature about it. Just because he's the oldest doesn't mean he can sit there and be mad that you love us all equally. We agree to share after all, because, well, when we don't, we start trying to kill each other and anyone else that tries to get in the way. And that's... <laughs> What's that, Aaron? It's bad. Exactly. Violence is usually bad. Good morning, sweetheart. No, I'm not still crying about the test. I... <sighs> yes, I want a hug, please. Three for three, boys. A new record, I might add. Sorry, gorgeous. I'd kiss you, but my lips are just so sore from last night. Really? All you have to say is good for you. <laughs> Get dunked on, Zack! Shorty isn't having any of your sass. Man, f*** off! You are a hey, not in front of me. You know they're only immortal. A, a stray lightning bolt could. Ow, my eyeliner! All right, that's it. Get off! Um, we're sorry, sweetheart. Oh, oh dear. You're shaking. Oh my, that's... Oh. Sorry about that, Keeps. Can I at least get my kiss in before you take my head off? Grab your plates and fucking run! Really think that this is going to be enough to make up for our stupidity this morning? Keeps does everything for us, and we never appreciate them enough. Especially you, Zack. 
They have to clean up after all your gross outings and deal with all the idiotic women you leave in bed. Even when you inevitably come to cuddle with all of us anyway. Yes, okay, I'm the asshole. I know, I get it. It's just, it's hard being a horseman of conquest and seeing a person you're so desperately in love with being with other people. And your own brothers too. Zack, we've been through this. If we don't share, we turn violent. And father said that we, we couldn't be that way anymore. Keeps loves you too, even if you are a big meanie. Alright, come on you idiots. We go in there and we make this right with the cutest person in the cosmos. On three. Keeps, we're sorry. Please, hugs. Please. I'm the horseman of famine and I, I just get touch starved sometimes. Yay! Mmm. Ugh. I was so, so sad all day. We all were. Tristan was doing a real depressed goth face instead of his pretend one all day, and Aaron hardly tried to beat anyone up. Dude! My fragile masculinity! Ahem. <clears throat> uh, we, um, we went to a bakery and told the lady, you know, there that we f***ed up. Like, really f***ed up. And she made a cake to show that we're dumb idiot bakas, or whatever, and that we love you and appreciate you. D dude, come on, keeps no, don't don't cool happy like that, cause it makes me feel weird. I'm the horseman of war. I don't like feeling freshly cooked. Pop-Tart-esque. I'm sorry, Keeps. Can I please have my good morning smooch now? Pretty please. Ha mm. <laughs> ha! Yes! Oh dang, Keeps. You still cooked all this food? Tristan, you cancelled band practice, right? I did, yeah. Jeez. I guess we'd better bring out our actual god appetites, huh? That's okay. I'm always hungry. All right. How about we all go to the living room and watch some TV now, huh? Ugh. Wait a minute. It's Liam's turn to pick the show. The, there's nothing wrong with Bridezilla's. There is everything wrong with Bridezilla's. <sighs> Good lord, absolutely awful show. Full of silly, fat messes, complaining, and expressing everything that they want. It's not just about the woman during the wedding. But no, they have to have everything their way. Absolutely foul creatures. How could they even get married? How would anyone even want to talk to them? <sighs> I hate it. It's like, it's like a bunch of Karens in dresses and they're yelling at each other or something. I don't, I don't even understand it. Why are, what's the fuss? They're supposed to be happy. Ugh. The Bridezilla. I wish Godzilla would show up and Bridezilla all over their Bridezilla, you know what I mean? God. Ugh. I mean, just last episode, that Becky spent 20 grand on a f***ing dress. Everyone knows you shouldn't spend more than 15 if you're on a $200,000 budget. Ah. <sighs> now that we're all snuggled in together on the couch. Boys. What do we say? Thank, Thank you, Keeps. keeps. And we, we love, love you, you keeps. keeps.